product control, distribution, and capitalism. Obviously, a fascinating thing is happening in the world, and the world being the world of money, and the world of the human race, where behind closed doors and secret, many are scheming against each other all the time. And they're doing it to gain control over products and to find other ways to make it so they don't contravene each other's rights and end up in court. At the end of the day what happens is that the products end in the hands of corporations that produce it at a global scale, distribute it, sell it cheaper, marginalizing many of the middle class into nothingness, where they end up either having to just work for a salary for a corporation, or they end up as a subcontractor for a corporation, but in essence, their ability to compete as equals are diminished to nothing. And they become, in essence, only a functional slave within the system, supporting and protecting the corporation, whether they want to or not. And this is done through the force of distribution and control of products. So when a person invents a new product, the vultures come, which is a corporation, and they end up with control, and greed is always the master. Obviously from an equal money perspective it's actually wonderful because you're already having a form of centralization that is taking place around the world. You already have all your logistics and warehousing taking place for distribution around the world. You have all your outlets being centralized, so all products are starting to move one channel like that means everything is channeled throughout the world to every city to very specific outlets, very specific distribution networks, very specific warehousing, warehousing and the logistics are planned, the brands are merging, they're cutting costs, obviously making a scenario possible where less and less people at the top are feeding off this system while most people are marginalized into survival mode and if you now have ideas of eventually uh, let's not go there at the moment anyway so from an equal money perspective we need the infrastructure for the distribution of goods through a one set channel to get to all cities in the world from where it can be distributed to the people and each person's basic needs, requirements and their pursuit of happiness can be fulfilled effectively that you have the warehousing where you have all the necessary required product available and you have a network, computerized system, software that manage the distribution and you have your inputs that can be done through the internet from home. Yes, you'll be able to do everything you require before you go to town, before you go and collect it. You'll do it from home, from your internet connection. Everyone will have internet in the world. You'll do your shopping from home. You will get all the goods. Your life plan will be from home and it will be computerized and it will be a system that manage it. Not a human, a system. 
system that will be equal for everyone. And obviously, because the system is equated in numbers, it will not be something that can be abused because it operates in ways that is functionally distributing to all equally what is required and each human being will just be a number. The nice thing about being a number is that with numbers you can actually solve the problems equally and everything that is required for a human is available from a number system. At the moment the number system has been abused by capitalism to have control and to make only a few become wealthy while most end up in the position of scarcity and then within scarcity they are compromised in terms of their actions their beliefs and their willingness to do things to try and again uplift themselves in the system it's this constant battle going on which is unnecessary. The human endeavor could be so much more effectively used for effective living within the concept and construct of what is here as living beings and understanding this world effectively. And if we ever is to go to the stars, we better first understand our own stars. So you have to decide where do you place your future? Do you place it in a position where you are protected within an equal system or do you remain within the system of dog eats dog which is capitalism and consumerism and the money system as it now exists in the world. And you have to understand that even socialism and communism as it existed in this world was in fact an outflow of consumerism, of scarcity and of capitalism in a way because it was just a polarity system that did not act in the way that's best for all it acted on the rules of scarcity and therefore the same thing happened that you see in consumerism and capitalism today that's why China could change with such ease and although it is an errant still call it a socialist country it is in fact a capitalist country it's not really changed anything in terms of it and you still have your guys in charge and you have your money distribution according to the same principles of scarcity and and uh, abundance so nothing really changed except that China because there was more discipline and uh, ended up with all the money fascinating game of chess better get it off your chest.